what's going on YouTube it's your boy Marcus the boss it's like 3 in the morning can't sleep can't sleep vibes for today's showdown live we're just gonna be playing some menu we're gonna use the nasty pot Persian Alola bring that back we have the Tluminator here I basically took an old team the same old team from that uh, aforementioned Persian Alola live and just put a few tweaks on it really and we're gonna see how it does today we're gonna close I have a tap channel because I really have no business be it for it being open. Metacham is going to basically body us today. Metacham puts us in a coffin. We have to get like Rocky Helm damage with Dredagon. And Dredagon isn't really required for anything else on this nigga's team. So it's going to be kind of facilitated by that fact. So we're just going to lead to Licorice the Cat because, I mean, I don't know why I said that. Um, I would Im imagine he's lead Aerodactyl based on the fact that he won lead with it. So we're just going to go straight for Dark Pulse, I guess. We're faster, which... A Citrus Berry, slower than us, and he Earthquaked. So if I really wanted to, I could have just, like, fought it, but we're just gonna kill this now, or at least try to. Because we might... No, Dark... A crit Dark Pulse at 52, that's not gonna... He goes no whimsy caught. Alright, well, we have the freest switch into this in Sil Valley Steel. I'm not gonna go into Whimsicott on the potential Psychic and shit, but if this is a U-turn, then uh, I can see Metachamp coming in and basically catching a body. But I will have that Dredagon to get off the the skin, rough skin helmet damage, and if it is choiced, it will be locked into something. So I think this is probably the best way this could have played out here even though it's still not favorable, so we're gonna have to switch Dredagon immediately, we're probably not getting rocks this game, for that fact. Um, he actually- oh, he misses even better, so, um, Zero rewarding your boy for the play, there wasn't really a play on that turn, just like saying that. He goes into Donner, so he's probably getting his rocks, which allows me to play offensively, he doesn't really have a good grass resist, or, uh, his grass resist is a Whimsicott, which doesn't really want the smoke with Vileplume. He goes for Earthquake, which does nice damage, but I'm gonna Giga Drain and get it all back if I really want to. So I'm gonna Giga Drain, he can't do a damn thing about that. But what he can do is go into his Meta Champion Zen Headbutt, which will catch a body. But like I said, I have that, he goes into Amble Palm, which doesn't actually do well against Vile Bloom. But I'm inclined to stay in because, like, what else do I need this for? Uh, he goes for a Return, which does 49, which is really respectable damage. Uh, not really, but it's decent enough damage. He's actually out of here, so we guess we picked up the W for our first match. And we're gonna get into another one now. Just hop into another one. Jump to another one. Still can't sleep. It's almost 3.30. It's gonna be 3.30 in 3 minutes. And I'm over here playing Showdown, talking into a microphone. This is called Dedication, so I think this should, um... Hopefully you guys came from that Ligma video. This nigga has a Togetic, so I haven't seen Togetic in 50 years. Uh, Delmise, it looks like Persian wins if I kill Gallade and Whimsicott. We can go, no, actually I can just bop Gallade with the dark move. And if I kill Whimsicott and Togetic, um, Persian can win this game, I believe. Um, so, but I had to, it's all a process. I had to get it started, get it cooking. So we're gonna leave the Vaporeon. He leads a Whimsicott, so this is unfavorable, but I'm gonna go into Steel Valley. Same play I made against the first guy. Um, I don't want to go into Vile Plume because Psychic is a is a thing. I don't know if Hurricane's a thing, but that's even that uh, increases the risk of the Vile Plume play because it's stronger than Psychic. So probably steals an overall solid play unless he reveals hidden powers, which shouldn't do much because Whimsicott has 77 special attack. Always remember this. It's not that strong, but it is a. Uh, it's fast, which is really nice. It has a good typing. Both offensively and defensively, he's actually scrubs to two, which I can't say I agree with because, like, but this just means that we're going to, like, go into Vileplume, he's not going to stop us. Like, parting shot, lower your attack and special attack on the super rare off chance you actually have Psychic, and then go into Vileplume, he can't do a damn thing about that, except for, uh, risk his Magmortar getting... Delmise or Galade getting poisoned, I guess. If he goes into Steelix, I'm gonna beat that, so... The Steelix has the chance, uh, a legit shot at 1v1 -ing. I don't want to sludge, uh, sleep out just because Magmortar has Vital Spirit, but he goes into Steelix, which I can't say I agree with. But I am gonna... Try to put him to sleep if he wants to make this play. So, 
Steelix uh, saying goodnight really quickly. Gonna start Giga Draining. 40% is amazing damage. And we might as well Sludge Bomb again because he does not want to keep his D. He does want Okay. But he stayed asleep, so. I don't know why he's sacking his Steelix. I don't really need Steelix super weakened. But it's nice that it's basically gonna die here. He goes into Delmise. Which is shiny. I've never seen a shiny Delmise before, so it's, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, we could go into Lol too, and I'm gonna go into Ligma, I think, because I feel like either, if not Earthquake, Anchor Shot. He does Anchor Shot, but I, I'm in with Ligma. So, um. I just gave my opponent Ligma with this series of plays. I'm sorry, just dragging the thing over here. I should probably just, just a little under, you know. And I'm gonna. Honestly, just click that darkest because what the hell is he gonna do? Galade and get justified? He goes into Togetic, so I wish I had knockoff actually. I might just go change that after this game. So we're just gonna U turn. This is basically a free defog, so thank you for letting me get into the Pokemon that'll get your hazards, your hard work, your Steelix's hard work out of here, and then proceed to flamethrower it if it tries to switch in. So I really appreciate that. Um, so we're gonna go into Silvali 2 without thinking. Or I don't know why I called it Silvali 2. Probably because it has LOL. 2 in its name. I don't know why it's named LOL 2 because there isn't a LOL 1 on this particular team. He goes, I got full parent. Are you fucking joking? I just need the rocks out. I can go into uh, fucking Whimsicott on this all day. I don't give a damn if you want to sub. He goes for Leech Seed. It, uh, unfortunate that he missed there, but I think that Pluminator had a chance. Whether or not he hit the Leech Seed, in my honest opinion. This is, of course, Somewhat joking because uh, uh, Vileplume is of course immune to that. I'm gonna go for Giga Drain here. He stays in for reasons unknown, but like the special attack drop isn't gonna stop him from even dying to Sludge Bomb or getting at least his substitute broken. And Fluminator just honestly just annoys his team. But I'm trying to get something popping with Persian, and if I kill this Fluminator or his Whimsicott, that's going to be the solution. So no, you're not gonna sub on me, bro. Going to Magmortar, risk it getting poisoned. I have a Drudagon, so I'm gonna go into Drudagon. Even though I'd love to keep Drudagon's HP for that motherfucking uh, for that fucking uh, thing, I actually thought he he's gonna burn me too. He actually doesn't burn me, but uh, we're gonna get our rocks up while we can. He goes into Tog Togetic, so we're gonna keep our Drudagon because I don't even know if I actually want it for. Him. I'm actually just gonna go into uh, if I had knock off on my. Center where this would be so much easier, which we're actually going to change right now. Actually, because I don't really see a reason for dark beasts because we're not. You should always run knock off unless you're, uh, unless you're he, he's Thunder Wave. This man is cancer, this man is a cancer, so he can't go into that fucking Magmortar because all right. So, Delmai's nice crit, nice crit, no poison, no poison. But a, a spin is probably imminent here, so I that I don't want to go directly into Persian. Although if I go into Persian, I'd actually get it popping. So wait, if I go into Persian on Delmise, it's it's actually a wrap. Let me try to set up that. So let me go into Drudagon and punish him for spinning. First of first of all, and then get the rocks right back up. Basically disrespecting this man. No 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 no. Because if he stays in and attacks me, I'm gonna detail. This play is because, like, if I get this inverse, if I get Persian in versus Delmise, which I'm trying to do, no, it's not going to work. I don't think it's going to work, so I might as well just get the rocks back up. He can spin again if he wants. They're not going to leave the playing field anymore. He actually just anchor shots, so. Play worked either way, but now I'm not, I'm too weakened to switch into Magmortar or Gallade. Magmortar shouldn't be too much of a problem for Vaporeon, despite the Thunderbolt, though, because Vaporeon, of course, has Hellas for death. Um, Incineroar might chew a Focus Blast from where it's at. It's not Vest, but it is Fat Incineroar, so I do believe in it. Its capabilities of surviving the hit. He goes into the aforementioned Gallade. I'm honestly just gonna Dragon Tail. He can't set shit up if I Dragon Tail. If he substitute, then I'm kind of screwed. But if not, he goes for Ice Punch. So I don't know what that means. It means I actually just lose to it though, because what the hell do I do? I'm just gonna go into Licorice, I guess. He is Life Orb, so we're gonna just go right for the. I almost clicked the Z Nasty, but he goes into Steelix! Aw, oh, crap. Why'd he go into Steelix, bro? I don't know. So as long as he. If he goes into, like, 
He's gonna go into Whimsicott here. Basically. He goes into Togetic. I don't agree with that because I'm going to Oh, he is the cancerous ass Thunder Wave. Never mind. So yeah. He actually goes for a Roost, which I can't say I agree with, but I guess it works out for him. Oh. This Gallade basically wins. I have to keep Persian alive. And at all costs. If not, I will lose to this Gallade, especially if he's Drain Punch. But I'd imagine that close combat is a better set. So I eventually want to get this Heal Bell popping off as well, so I should, probably should have switched Vaporeon to this. But it doesn't matter, because he's going to let his Magmortar uh, potentially get poisoned here, which it doesn't, which is kind of lame. We're going to go into Vaporeon, he probably Thunderbolted. Yep, nice play, nice play. But Vaporeon is... not Vaporeon, it's not, this is Vaporeon, what the hell? Vaporeon is living, so we're just going to protect. I don't know what item he is, maybe he's choiced. I honestly couldn't tell you, I'm just going to go into Silvali. What does Silva Ollie do? It takes 22 from that. We're just gonna parting shot to weaken his offenses a bit. Now we're not gonna part. Yeah. Oh, 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 this works. This works. If we don't get paired, this works. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. I don't know if Dark Pulse is doing 50. That's the problem. The problem is I don't know if Dark Pulse is doing 50. Um. So let me think about this for a second. I don't know if, if he has CC or Drain Punch. Either way, he's at minus one. So let's go into Vaporeon and get Vaporeon facilitated. So, um, we're gonna go for Scald. If he's CC, then this was, I think, a better play. If he was Drain Punch, I think Incineroar might have worked out, because I believe Fat Incineroar should take a minus one. Minus two Gallade's, uh, minus two because of Intimidate, of course. Minus two Gallade, Drain Punch. But either way, this nigga's taking quite the, quite the time to take, to pick his move, and this team's working a lot better. A little better than I thought it would, but, um, either way, Vaporeon's gonna... Gotta do something here. Scald, my play of choice. I still have uh, Whimsicott, not Whimsicott. Honestly, against Whimsicott, I'm gonna let. Okay, he is close combat. So he's a minus one at 40. Scald's gonna do 40. And that is his uh, thing. Out of here, he forfeits too. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we're gonna play probably one more. Get, get it popping. Of course, never end alive on a loss. So if we do take a hell this live, I will play a game after it. Because that's what you do, you never end on, on the loss. Even if you you think you've got good you've got good length and you want to say, let's get one more game, you lose that game, and you lose another game. So mini ores are actually a huge threat, which is something I don't want to see. Mini ores ass. But it actually has an okay matchup, especially because of how fast it is. And my uh and I'm kinda underwhelming on the priority side. We're just gonna lead with incentive or maybe he leads mini or we burn the potential berry. So that's actually exactly what happens. And we are knocked off on this team, which is actually worse against this. So we're going to go into Drudigon and just drag and tail him pretty much instantly. Um, I could glare him as well, but I think that Dragon Tail is going to work out better. Because even if I have that glare out, he's still going to outspeed Vaporeon, which I would use to kill it. Sceptile is going to be threatening, but I do have Vileplume in Sil Valley and in Cinderor. Scrafty's a threat. He goes for Power Gem, so he's special. Which I didn't expect. Uh, it does exactly 50 and drags out the aforementioned Sceptile. I don't know if I want to go into Ligma or if I want to get my rocks off. I think rocks are more important, but he's Dragon Pull Sceptile. So I could go into Ligma here. But I think, yeah. Yeah, let's go into Ligma and if. Problems arise with that Minior. He doesn't have rocks. Because his Minior would be his only potential rocker. So we're going to go into Fat Incineroar. And uh, because his only rocker is Minior. This, uh, is, and that's not gonna have rocks on it, so he doesn't have rocks, so Jordagon is, he's White Herb on this too, that tells me that he is most definitely. He goes for Focus Blast, which I can't agree with, like, don't stay in, bruh. U-turn gets a crisp 71, and we're going to go into the Pluminator and get this popping off, so we're doing pretty well here. This is just, like, mainly a team test live, I might bring out this team in the later videos. He goes for Dragon Pulse, so I'd say we play pretty well. Oh wait, his mini is special, so I can't make that play. Never mind. But what I can do is get, as long as he's not sub bulk up, recoil on his Braviary. So I think I'm gonna do that actually, get that popping off. Because that is gonna be really nice. Yeah. Brave Bird this, you take rough skin, you take helmet. Now Braviary is basically weakened that 2% of recoil and he's life orb. So basically hella that da hella damage on Braviary in two seconds. So we're gonna go into Persian and finish him with Thunderbolt because he's life orb. So great, that's how to kill Bravey everyone 101. 
because my Persian is not technician, I don't know if hidden, hidden power fighting is probably not going to do a lot to Scrappy, who actually just wins, because my Drodagon's dead, my Pluminator is looking a little low on health, not, 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 it's not too low, okay, so we're going to Strength Zap, and whatever he does, we're going to get it all back, so that's basically the play, he goes for Ice Punch and crits us, effects 4, Justice, hell no, so we basically just lost to a crit, which you never want to see, so we really only have, do I have like, I have Fire Blast on this side. So we really only have one play here, and that's Hope Vaporeon lives if he's not high jump kick and we Scald Burn, he's Drain Punch. So that's part one. Part two is we Scald Burn him, if not, we basically just got Lucky Player. Are you, you joking? Can you burn Scald? So hopefully he gets greedy and sets up and we crit burn him with Scald. Because we basically just lost to a crit. Losing to crits is my specialty. I believe I said that in a live once, and it, it, it caused hella hype. But yeah, we basically just got lucked. Better player, always getting cheesed. This is, uh, not, diff this is, a uh, not, a, a new concept, this, this is not a new concept, this has been happening in competitive mods on the regular. Lost to a crit, blah 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 blah. Call me Supreme Patty, let's get another one. Bad game versus that motherfucker. Let me just at least play this out. So like he's gonna save the replay, he's gonna get hype. He he locked. And we're going to get out of here. This is probably going to be the first lucky player collection. Just a simple crit. Nothing too special. I'm probably he even dragon danced again, the greedy ass motherfucker. So uh like he wasn't gonna oko this with a plus three, plus four scrafty, alright, alright kid. So he's lucky and he's greedy too. So that's nah, we're getting another one, bam. So we probably just got Lucky Player Collection part, whatever, 30. So yeah, that was just straight Lucky Players. Hopefully we see a Scrafty from a guy who actually knows what he's doing and it's not going to hacks on every turn. We're going to leave this because it's going to anti-lead the Frost last, and he's probably going to predict. Do I, I high-key want to plot, so I'm going to Dark Pulse actually. I had to be at plus 4 to kill Scrafty, I think. Fuck Scrafty. So we're going to go for Dark Pulse. He is going to taunt, so we can't plot, but we can... Hit him with this middle ground. No, we're just gonna Dark Pulse again. If he goes into Scrafty, he's a. He, he, I don't know what to say about him. I don't know why he taunted because Persian is always faster than Frostlass. He goes into Electro, so I'm actually really happy I didn't Thunderbolt like I wanted to. We're gonna go into Drudagon. If he knocks us off or Drain Punches, I don't know if he may, if he has Drain Punch. I don't know what Electros run in 2018 because he's using Electros in 2018. But uh. He actually just U-turns into the aforementioned Frostlass. We're just gonna go, honestly, into... Nah, Ligma has four attacks, so I don't know how I feel. We're just gonna drag tail. Do I, I even... I didn't want to... I'm gonna go into Sil Valley. I have a Sil Valley. So we're gonna go into that. He goes for Ice Beam. I'm going to Parting Shot is as imminent as Taunt is. Because he's gonna do that. And I can go back into my Persian. And then plot on the ice beam. Uh, it's not gonna. It does just, I'm gonna plot just so that. All right. So I don't know how much Electros takes from. Dark Pulse to 21. Fuck it. Dark Pulse to 21. Plus two Black Hole Eclipse is doing 79. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. So he goes into Typhlosion, so I'm like 90% sure this is Scarf, so we're gonna go into Fat Center or... No, 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 we're gonna go into uh, Think This through Vaporeon. Because if he goes for a... Oh, wait. I can't switch Incineroar into Lorantis because of Intimidate, giving it Contract, but I have a Drodagon. So I'm gonna go into Drodagon instead. He goes into the... He still saved it, I forgot. But at least we killed that uh, fucking cancerous ass... We're just gonna go into Silvali again. And then Flash Cannon on the Taunt is his play here. Taunt would be a good play here. Which is why the flat Yep. So that's gonna be saying goodbye to us. Uh you there's a 50-50 you might be missed, I don't know. But in comes Scrafty, so we're gonna play and not get lucked by this Scrafty, because uh He actually goes into Archaeops, which I should preserve my I mean I want rock. I'm gonna glare him actually. 
he goes for his stealth marks with this, so he does have like two leads, which is actually really cool. I imagine Taunt comes out of this too, and he's gonna taunt me on Dragon Tail. He actually goes for Head Smash, so he doesn't care if I get my rocks up, is basically what he's telling me. He wouldn't have cared. I'm just gonna Dragon Tail him into Lurantis, which is kind of unfortunate actually, but I'm gonna try to get my rocks up. I'm defogging like in two turns, so this is probably not my most ideal play, but I can go into the Pluminator on this motherfucker. And Typhlosion's a bad switch. Archaeops is at 19 dead to rocks. Typhlosion will take rocks plus Sludge Bomb. Scrafty can't beat this if he switches that in, so. Yes. I'm trying to keep rocks up until. Never mind, Archaeops just died. I was gonna say I was gonna keep rocks up until Archaeops died. He goes into Scrafty, so we're gonna try not to get bull shitted by this one. It's Dragon Ants again, so. Uh, no poison. He might be shed skin though, but we're we're gonna strength sap on the attack here because it does 48. Scrafties are so lucky on this ladder, dude. I haven't gotten an effect spore, no sludge bomb poison. My sleep power is probably going wide left, so we're gonna. He's actually just gonna forfeit. So no back-to-back -back lucky Scrafties. When you see this cropped out in the video, we might as well get a solid life here. 21 minutes and counting. Of course, I'm not gonna edit up the. I'm not gonna take that Scrafty video out. Loss, I'm gonna take it to make a lucky player video because had he not crit my my pile plume, that would have been a much different outing. And if we run to this nigga again, we will prove why. Because as that first guy showed, well, I mean that that, that this I mean is that recent guy showed. I mean, that recent guy didn't have him. So this man is him on top, so he's already pissing me off, especially because he has Komala and Decidui, two other potential hazard removers, and Decidui is defog that also pisses me off because he has two spikers. I mean he's rocks Pharisee most likely. Like, he's 12 times out of 10. I think Persian, if I kill Incineroar and hit Montauk, can actually sweep this game. So we're gonna go and lead with Ligma, because I've led with it pretty much every game, and I hasn't really been un in unfavorable. He has no fire resist, so we might as well get it popping. Boss of Fire Blast, hit Montauk might come out. He actually stays in, for what reason, I don't know. Then only does 48. He's Moonblast. I don't know why he stayed in the Moonblast and Incineroar, but that's a play he made. I'm gonna knock off, because he shouldn't, or a U-turn, rather. Knockoff would be a nice play, but I'm going to U-turn because I want initiative when he brings inevitably, inev inevitably brings in Hitmontop. So we're going to go into Pluminator. We can punish the hell out of him if this is his spinner. If Kamala's his spinner, we can do the same. But all I know is that Pluminator is in the building. We're going to Sludge Bomb because he has no he, he has one portion resist, actually. And a fairly solid one at that, but that one just lets Ligma just come in like, Hello, yeah, I'm back in the game. You've been diagnosed with Ligma. So he's is that he's not Vest, he's just Okay, no, I'm 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 one of these I'm underestimating. I did 33 though, so I'm probably underestimating him on top of Spadef, because it does actually have a hell of a lot of special events. We are just going to uh do I care about Pharisee? Kinda. But nothing really We're gonna go into Yeah, because he's gonna I, I didn't think he'd go into his own vile bloom. Because that's not really a good play. Or not really his best play. We're gonna go into Ligma. I know Heike thought it was AV. We're gonna go into Ligma on the next Moon Blast. I don't know how much him on top takes from Fire Blast. If I get him on top out of the picture, which I will by. Which I can work on by. He goes for Synthesis. So we're gonna knock off his. Uh, that did 48 too, so we spit that vile play. Good to know, good to know. Which means a weakened U-turn, so we had to get this weakened if we want to get anything popping with. Ooh! The plays. Perfectly timed U-turn, if I do say so myself. We might as well bring in Vaporeon because we have the potential to Scald Burn that trial plume. So that's what we're gonna do. We might as well just go all out and make this a long midnight live. Keep playing until like 4.30 and just get that scrappy part for a lucky player video. You'll see the Lucky Player video, so, like, don't flame me for some bullshit. Because you'll see the Scrafty video. I'll upload that. I'll probably upload that before I upload this. Oh, I burned him with Skull. We're gonna use Wish, because if he goes into Vile Plume, then I can go into Ligma and get my Wish. So, that's what's gonna happen here. He's gonna go into Vile Plume. I'm gonna Wish. That knockoff damage told me he was Spadef. So we could actually use the Eclipse on this as well. 
Because for Giga Drain does nothing because I'm especially defensive or fat Ligma. Um, him on top is so weak, which is what we need. So we might as well just Earthquake, honestly. Because he doesn't really gain anything from staying in. Like he can stay in, but like he's running out of synthesis PP. He has six left. So I probably I have six Fire Blasts, and um, I know how to conserve PP. So yeah, his him on top is fizz deaf as hell. The earthquake damage is more than enough to tell me that. Incineroar is really nice this game. I really like the work it's going to be putting in in this game. It's going to be a long match too, just based on how this man is playing, more so than his team. More so than, it's probably like a combination of the way our teams match up versus each other. But I'm just going to sludge bomb again. It hasn't stopped me before, and it's not going to stop me now from sludge bombing. Uh, Decidueye is a threat, a massive one, but I do have the aforementioned Incineroar. And I can diagnose him with Ligma if he, if he tries it, so he really shouldn't fuck with it. He might have low sweep, I've seen that. He might U-turn, I've seen that. No, I haven't seen that. I've heard from about low sweep and U-turn on Sword Dance and Sidueye, but I have yet to face a Sword Dance and Sidueye at all. Like, I have yet to face any variant of Dancing to Sidueye, but um, this guy might have it. He might be Choice Man, he might be Beat Fog, he might be some weird gimmick trap set that's not going to work because I'm going to switch the center run to it. Um, but either way, and if I, if I get Persian versus this issue, I can get, he's actually gonna forfeit. So, if we can get a solid game, it's not a forfeit, not a lucky player, then I might end the life. But this is actually kind of interesting, because we might just keep this journey up with this team. So, alright, so he has a team that's actually not similar to mine at all, never mind. Septile, huge threat. Noted. Actually, I've been knew that Septile's a threat to this team. Welcome, I tell he has water, still valley. I don't know if he has toxic or not, but I'm gonna imagine he does. So I'm gonna go in a plume there to prevent the toxic. I don't want my thing poison. Nope, nope, nobody, nope. I don't think that staying into Ice Beam is an intelligent play, so I think he's parting shotting into Ligma. And he does parting shot into Ligma. I do have the Sludge Bomb on deck, which is gonna poison, never mind. He looks to be Vest, but I'm also minus one. He looks to be bulkier, though, because I don't think that. You know, Incineroar is. Yeah, he is bulky, he has Fire Blast. Uh. We're just gonna Dragon Tail, because he's gonna knock off, take Rough Skin Rocky Helmet, and then the Dragon Tail. I personally wouldn't have done that, just because of the threat of Earthquake on Drodagon. But to each their own. He goes in Slowbro. I don't know if he's Vest or what he is on this Slowbro. We're gonna Dragon Tail and find out. Uh, I don't know what that damage means, or that damage. But I was hoping that Incineroar would come out here. And I hope he's not sub, so he goes for HP Ice, so he's probably Spec Centaur. We're gonna go into Ligma. So you've been diagnosed with Ligma, sir. What do you like to do? Uh, we can't actually... Slow U-turn. Slow U-turn's the play. I was gonna say we can't actually... Uh... This guy's a hoe, though, so... He has some hoe-ass mods. Drodagon was kinda used to the point sooner, but look how weakened it is. In fact, we're gonna put it to sleep. He actually sleep his Vile Plume, which... Never mind. We're not gonna sleep his vile plume. Okay. I was gonna sleep his vile plume. Or sleep his Silvali. And then fucking Well, I don't know if sleeping in Silvali would have meant much, but sleeping in Cinder was gonna mean a lot more, especially because I'm gonna You joking? You joking? You joking? I think you're joking. We had to go vapor I don't want my thing sting getting knocked off. He goes for fire blasts. And he burns me with fire blast. And he burns me with fire blast. So this is just turned into a shit show. We're gonna go for a wish on the Sil Valley water, not because I intend on staying in, but because I think he's parting shotting and we can heal the burn. He really got a fire blast burn. Dodge two sleep outs. The first one, first one I don't really care about. The second one, he said Iron Man. That's, that's kind of whatever at this point. Might as well heal Bell, he's parting shot and that's- Oh wait, I can scout because he's spec Sceptile 9 times out of 10. So I can really just scout for whatever the hell Sceptile's about to do. So I don't give a fuck, actually. I don't give as much of a fuck as I thought I would. Still pretty irritating, and maybe the Incineroar was asleep. This matchup would be, like, a lot easier. So I'm gonna protect here. He goes for Giga Drain. So I'm actually gonna go into- uh, not Pluminator, but Ligma, because he goes into his own Incineroar. 
So beautifully played on my part, recovering from the the bullshit, and I am faster than him because he probably doesn't have any speedy bees, but I have 140, so I keep that on me. Um, parting shot is likely incoming, if not slow U-turn. So yeah, yeah, slow U-turn. We're back in it. Just doing my thing. Just doing me. I was bad just for doing me. It really was though. In comes Persian. And it's not faster than his uh I I don't know what slow bro this is, so this is probably hella risky. This is actually dangerous because I don't know what slow bro is, but he does have the uh septile, so it doesn't matter. Focus blast is his only play. Focus Blast is your only play. You don't fuck around with a plus two Persian. Thank you. That's still just 29 because Wild Plume isn't bad at Spadef, but. Can't sleep on the motherfucking Sceptile. It's a threat. So you really gotta get that popping. Nice, nice damage. Nice chip. Damage on Vanillix is always fantastic. I have Ligma, but I'm gonna go into LOL too. Even though Ligma might have been a better play. Uh. We're gonna go for the slow party shot because we should be slower than him. And he's gonna go into Steelix, so it might have been actually in our better interest to, to uh, go for the uh, go for um go for can't even talk right now. Uh he's gonna go for his rock, so we're gonna get hella damage on Steelix. The water's cold, relatively cold. I don't know if I've used Scald at all this live, but... Pop a wish in the air. And actually go into Wild Plume, because he might Focus Blast on Silver. Just because, like, you know, if he Focus Blast into another 29, and we're gonna get it all back. And he is gone! Ya boy! <laughs> that is the plays right there. That's how you bounce back. I was, it's basically just fat shit that sets up for uh, Persian to do something, hopefully. This man has, uh, the meme team. No, he just is minier. He has, like, six potential leads here. S uh, especially because we're on the ladder, you don't know. But we lead Incineroar, which is gonna work out perfectly, and I'm going to click, like, knock off? Because he shouldn't stay in here. If this was, like, I don't know. He goes into Diancy, so if he's, like, an item that's not normal LMZ, we'll know about it. He's lefties, so that's, that's nice to know. We should be fast enough. Unless he's fast dancing, which I can't see. So, um... Could go into Sil Valley Steel on the rocks and just defog them immediately. If he goes into Pharisee, you can pressure it with Flamethrower. That's gonna be the play. So, uh, yeah, these are going away. You miss me with that bullshit. I don't know if I'm too close to the mic and it's gonna sound like ear rape. Or if I'm at the perfect distance. You guys can basically judge that in the comments. This is gonna be probably the longest live so far. Not in the channel, but so far the longest live of Season 7. I might just do really long lives because I honestly enjoy this. It's chill. It's like almost 4 a.m. It's basically 4 a.m. because it's 3:58. Probably shouldn't be doing this because my brother actually has school tomorrow. He's trying to sleep, but like he, he, I'm clearly not waking him up because he hasn't said shit. And he's sleeping with the TV on. Insanity. But um, waiting for his move. The real, the real comedy, not the comedy. The what one of the real question is going to be which what music will I put on this? It goes in the Pharisee, so rocks are out of here. Your evasion is forward. We are flamethrower in you. What are you gonna do? Leech seed? That does 72, which is fantastic, but he's Thunder Wave. He's the He is Cancer Wave, but we should be faster than Pharisee. I don't see him staying. Take another one. But what does he switch in? If he goes back into Deancey, I'm just gonna I'm just going to He's not Power Gem. Power Gem's old as shit. If he goes into Deancey, I'm just gonna either Flash Cannon or do whatever. If he goes into Magus, you've been diagnosed with Ligma. So we're going to knock off... I don't know if he's Clover or not. If he's Clover, this actually became a threat. But I do have Persian to outrun, so it doesn't even matter. Because I have the Persian on deck the entire time. He actually has Dazzling Gleam, and he is Clover, but he should still die, because Miss Maggie is a shit defense, dude. Ms. I've never seen Miss Magus take a hit through Clover, unless it's Will-O-Wisp the target on the on the same turn. Miss Maggie's doesn't live knockoff through Clover unless it, you're burned, really. He goes in. Uh, what's that? Amber Palm? Ban Drodagon. So, he goes for Fake Out. That does nice damage considering it's Amber Palm. Well, Amber Palm isn't weak at all. 
by any stretch of the imagination. We're going to prevent the Deancey and the Pharisee by going for Earthquake. He's going to actually just U-turn. I don't know why he didn't hard switch, because U-turn means he takes more rough skin and helmet damage. So he basically just killed himself. Uh, we're going to go for Earthquake to turn out to be the fan a fantastic play. Minior is catching a Glare, which won't help it because Minior is fast as fuck for no reason. I really, really pisses me off that it has my fucking 120 in its speed. Like, that actually upsets me. We can go back into Lol 2, we can go into Vaporeon, or we can go into Pluminator. And I'm imagining that we might as well just switch. This is what we need Pluminator for at this point, so we might as well switch it directly in, especially because Moonblast. I was expecting more Stealth Rocks, but this works. We are going to Giga Drain and get our health back. We are definitely faster than him. He's bulky, he's not Z Heal Bell because we. Actually, what's he gonna? He's not gonna hard switch Minior into this. There's no way. He goes into Heal Healers, but that's not Minior, so I'm not worried. Uh, we're gonna go into Sil Valley Steel, I guess, because Heal Healers is low key a problem. I have this Electric Resist, and I do have Persian, which naturally outspeeds, and is one hit away from being in, in power fighting range, I'd imagine, because Heal Healers because defenses are quite shit, so. A physical hit would probably kill it, and especially it will probably bring it in a range of Persians. Move. Like, Persian's basically trying to sweep here. But I don't see it doing it just because it's hard for it to set up versus anything. So it might be in our best interest if this healer just gets a kill to switch into Persian, maybe. Those are both switch. I don't think he should bring in Mini War and try to get that pop in just because of the threat of Flash Cannon. He does, he's ass. He is ass. This man is ass for this play. He shell smashes, he's ass. He sh he's ass. He's ass. He's ass. This man is ass. This man is ass. It might, it might actually work out though, so I can't really judge. So what we're, here's how we're gonna take this. All right, so we're gonna go into Pluminator. Double into Drodagon, because he should should not stone at you. I can't see stone at you being his play. Is it gonna make- Oh, let's go, boy! So that should be the end of mini Or. Yep, rough, rough skin Rocky Helmet. Always clutch. Let's go into Licorice. If he goes into Heliolisk, this is gonna be like, the, the thing it does. Beat the Heliolisk. We're gonna click, uh, Eclipse, I think. Now I'm gonna click Standard Dark Pulse or Hidden Power Fighting for Heliolisk. It's probably my best in interest to just yeah, because he has Deancey still, so it's probably not in my best interest to do anything other than Dark Pulse or Hidden Power Fighting. So, Persian Alola, what, is that even the best play? Should I go into Silvali? No, I just lost my Silvali. I'm like, what? Never mind, never mind. I'm talking out of my ass here. Kind of what you have to do when this guy's taking until the next life to pick his move. Let me get that timer on him. I haven't clicked that at all this live. Put that pressure. Are we in the three on three? No, I have four mods. I still have my. Still have my, and Vileplume can handle uh, Amber Palm as well as uh, Incineroar with Intimidate and Knock Off. So this should work out pretty well, especially if he makes his move. That'll just make it so much quicker. Because if you guys don't know, I probably said it at least twice per Showdown Live, but I can't pause with this setup. I'm not gonna edit anything out except make that Scrafty video a lucky player video, which is gonna kinda so seem bitter at first, but it's a lucky player video. He crit my damn wild pool. But you know, that's what you do. That would have been the live ending battle too. I would have ended it there, but never end on a loss. So we keep on grinding. Unless it's a lucky player video, you don't end a show on live on a loss. Unless, but in that case, you just take the lucky player video and make it into one live. So yeah, he goes into the Yancey, which is kind of upsetting. We'll go into Vaporeon because I want to preserve Vileplume's health for the other mons, and this will make it easier to do that. He goes for Moonblast again. Um, I don't know why he didn't switch into Heliolisk. I'm just gonna heal Bell your Toxic. If you Toxic again, fantastic play, but I'm just gonna go into Vileplume. He goes for Diamond Storm, so I'm gonna get all it back. I'm gonna get all back. Go into Vileplume on the next, on the potential next Toxic. 
We saw a Giga Drain do hell damage to Heliolisk. Bioplume doing work. Yeah, none of that. I actually could have scalded him, probably killed him too. Vaporeon special attack ain't anything to fuck with. So I'm just gonna Giga Drain, do, do good damage, Diamond Storm's not gonna do anything. Unless he crits it, of course. Unless he crits it. So I actually just wanna Strength Seven back. I might as well, you know. Cause he's gonna be a minus one with the next Diamond Storm. What the hell? His stats weren't lowered? Oh, he has clear body. I was so confused, I'm like, wait, did my move fail? But no, we got some HP back. That's actually really crispy. I completely forgot that clear body would do that, but we still got the HP back. Still had more than enough to fight Ambipom, especially if he goes right into it. So we're just going to go for Giga Drain again. We could honestly strength sap again. We might as well strength sap again. We gotta fake out. Which does nice damage. He's gonna we're gonna strength sap on the return. Just so we have health for the healing list, because you never Oh wait, 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 why do I need to do that? Oh, because I affect spore sleep. I honestly didn't need to do that. I could have sludge bombed and then I, I want I should have done that uh, just so I could have finished it with Persian. But this is gonna work because it's gonna forfeit and I still want that Persian game. We might as well make this an hour short of line. Well maybe not, because an hour is gonna be twenty minutes from now, because it's forty one minutes. And we still need that lucky player video. So uh We've gotten a lot of forfeits, a lot of forfeits, like it's pretty underrated the number of forfeits we've gotten. And I think this might be the last game, as soon as we get it of course, I don't know where we are as far as ranking, we might as well just check that really quickly, get that popping off. So go in the lobby, fuck the lobby by the way, do that slash ranking, boss the mark, what the fuck. If I find a game before I hit enter. So we are 6-1, and one, that only loss, that blemish on our record. Um, I can't say fuck the lobby, I used to be a, a lobby regular back in the day. Users like Fake McFakers and SSB4 Marth Final, Pika Man 1, 2, 3, Orange Fire 4, Evan Kramer, Milktown, Milktown is in a maximum security prison. Um, so is Fake McFakers, for the record. Um, and like the mods, I'm trying to think of other users. Free Agent Class 2014, that nigga's definitely in a maximum security prison. Um, let's pick our lead versus this nigga though. Hollow Sand is what we're gonna set up versus. Kill Heliolis. No, not Heliolis. Kill Incineroar and we can win. Or we get it for Hidden Power Fighting, which will be easy with the combination of Drudding on it. Our own Incineroar. We've led Incineroar basically every time and it hasn't failed us yet, and it's not gonna fail us now because we're gonna U turn into something that can do this. So we can Incineroar, we can or kill Incineroar, and we can get it popping with uh, our damn, his water, oh he has Heliolus, never mind. We're gonna wish, and then when he goes into Heliolus, pretty much inevitably, we're gonna pass the wish to draw that he stayed in. The Madman. Well, now we can get the switch to heal the damage we take when I, we scald it. He goes into gold bat, which I can't say I agree with, because one, if he gets burned here, that's going to make it easier than it already would be for my Silva. Unless he's U-turn. If he's U-turn, then well played. If not, Silva is coming right in. It's entering like that nigga who opened the door. I'm trying to think of what he said. Rev up those friars. So, yeah, that's what Silva walked walked in on this nigga. Like, rev up those friars, because I am sure happy for one. And instead of getting thrown out, he just defogged and switched, being, uh, switched. Because Incineroar was on the screen, if he's Z, it's gonna be dangerous. He's bulk up, so like, no, 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 hell no. Nah. Dragon Tail, it goes for Darkest, so he's gonna take Rough Skin, and Helmet, and he's out, and a crit Dragon Tail, that's all the damage on Incineroar we need. Basically. And I don't wanna stay in versus this, because this is just gonna trade rocks, but uh, it actually doesn't wanna trade rocks. Classless individual. Yo, I could actually get it popping with. No, I wanna I wanna see if this thing's Clover first. But I think I can if I went to Persian there, it would have been so lit. So we're gonna get it popping with Persian, of course. Wish? Why is he staying in on this? It what what is he gaining from staying in on this? We're gonna skull in case he predicts Drudagon. He didn't predict Drudagon? Burn, 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 let's go! So he might be that defensive set. But if not, Persian's gonna get it popping, boy. This is gonna be the fan a fantastic way to end. He swords dance. All right. 
Um, so you might predict how I play. I hella want to plot here. Ah, oh, he died! Let's go! Persian's in the building, boy! He's forfeited? Come on, now! We were getting that facilitated. Persian was about to put in hella work on that man. We have lighted it in the 1200s. We might set a goal. Might not. Who knows? Chicken Nugget's kind of a threat, but we have Vile Pluto. Malamar's a huge threat. We just lead Incineroar every time. Hopefully he doesn't lead Malamar. But I feel like his lead would be Archaeops, because he might be Rock's Archaeops, in which case Incineroar into Jodagon isn't terrible. Incineroar into Silvoli might also work as well. Incineroar into Persian is underrated, because then I can like Thunderbolt him. Kill Audino and kill Hitmonlee, and I can win with Persian. Kill N if he's Scarf Typhlosion. Might see if that. But for the most part, if we kill Audino and Hitmonlee, then Persian should, in theory, beat his cheeks, if not. Kind of screwed, so we're gonna go into Vaporeon on the potential Focus Blast. Um, if he goes for Eruption, he has Ligma. He goes for Focus Blast, so he still has Ligma. If he got a Spadef Drop, he would have had triple Ligma. So some shit. So we're gonna wish, because the next Focus Blast will kill us, and we can get a Wish Pop in for our Vaporeon. If he sub Malamar and switches it in, that'd be smart as hell. We, go, we do go for Wish. We're at 70, which is decent HP. So we're gonna go and ban Trotter Gun, because no one hits two Focus Blasts. Super hard does nice damage, but he is taking the rough skin, he is taking the helmet. And we do get it all back. He's Psycho Coach, which is actually genius on his part, because he's not going to take the damage. He goes into Zatu, which is actually upsetting, because it's like the thing I can't, you know, I have those versus. I'm going to go into LOL 2. Ligmo is probably a better play, but it's LOL 2. I don't know if he's, like, offensive. My parting shot's going to get bounced. He's going to be forced out. But I don't think he's saying it anyway, because that's not... A good play. It doesn't look good on your resume if you stay in on Silvoli Steel Zot. Actually, it doesn't matter. But we parting shot it anyway because we're gods. And yes, I knew that he would have. Uh, oh, we need to weaken him only before Persian does anything. Which is what we're going to try to get started here by going into Pluminator and ultimately Sleep Powder because he shouldn't stay in. In theory, he should not stay in. Minus one. If he, I don't care if he's Blaze Kick. Minus one Blaze Kick is going to do like two. He might stay in to try to knock off, which I won't agree with, because that's basically... Oh, wait, he has a Zatu. My stupid ass. So that honestly could have been... And we're gonna go into Ligma this time. I don't know what the hell he clicked so damn fast. Psychic? Alright, slow U-turn. So, um... Forgot he had Zatu, or else Sleep Powder would have been the perfect play. But he has Zatu, so it's not the perfect play. I don't even know what he's switching into this, but this is a slow U-turn if he stays in, and a slow U-turn if he switches, so... Either way, I get my initiative at the end of this turn. Taken until the next life, though. I know you don't have a switch to this buddy, but come on. Oh, he goes into Malamar! Even better! That's actually the best thing that could have happened. Because he went into Malamar, his Typhlosion specs, just based on the Focus Blast damage. We know this now. But we're gonna go into Licorice, the Persian. Because that's a dope Persian nickname. Honestly, to be completely honest with you, I googled cat names. And then just, like, scrolled through some websites with cat names. And then found the first one that I liked. Licorice is actually pretty cool. I haven't had licorice in 20, not 20 years, I haven't even gone. I haven't had licorice in like, years. Probably been like, no, nah, no, nah, that's that's actually not true, now that I think about it. I don't know why he mock punched the fur coat mom, but he got paired, he's gonna forfeit. You can, if there's like four buttons here, my nigga Joey taught me that, but if there's four buttons there, it means it's a forfeit. So, I'm trying to not end on a forfeit, I'm trying to end on a solid dub, and this nigga has a Maractus. We've led Incineroar basically every time. That's not gonna change. Especially because he leads with Mawile. Get that shit out of here. Not really. Mawile is one of my fav favorite Pokemon. I fuck with Mawile. But we're gonna knock off the incoming Clyde, sir. Uh, this nigga's name is Walk, so he's probably sipping that Walk heart, I'd imagine. He goes back into Mawile, but I went into Vaporeon. He probably predicted Drudagon, to be honest, but I can't say I ever agree with that play. He has the Water Immunity Maractus on deck. But I do get 70 and a burn, and I have, watch, I'm gonna wish. Those are the aforementioned Maractus. Throw the wish in the air. Go into Steel Valley, and basically get whatever he does back with the wish. He goes for Toxic, so even better. He's out too! Okay, hello forfeits in it. 
Hella forfeits at 4 a.m., boys. Midnight forfeits. Late night forfeits. It's summer, though. I didn't want to pull an all-nighter tonight. I'm probably going to call it a night after these games, honestly. Because it's not super late. It's not close enough to 5 yet for it to be an all-nighter. I imagine that until 6. I used to pull all-nighters. The reason I didn't... Okay, so I pulled an all-nighter in Christmas 2012, playing Pokemon Black 2. Not Christmas, but like, winter. December 2012, I was playing Pokemon Black 2. I called, I pulled an all-nighter. Remember when niggas thought the world was going to end on December 21st, 2012? That was funny. That was a funny thought. Have I played this nigga? No, I haven't, I haven't seen a Delphox Fox all day. But I have Ligma. No, he has Ligma. Wait. I have an Incineroar with the nickname Ligma, so Delphox Fox in theory isn't going to do shit. We could hit Molly. Kill hit Molly and Incineroar, and I think Persian has a chance this game. We can cry with him as well. But it shouldn't be too hard. We've let Incineroar every time. It hasn't failed us yet. It's going to fail us now because he has a Drudagon. Which was a pretty flawless lead against us. Pretty foolproof as well, but he's minus one, so we're going to go into Silver Valley Steel. If he goes immediately for rocks, uh, then I'm gonna get the uh, nice, clean defog. And I can also damage the flash cannon. He doesn't really have that good, two good switches in. He doesn't really have good switches into it. He might stay in an earthquake for nice damage. He goes for glare, which I can't say I agree with. Especially if he plans on getting the rocks right back up, which I would imagine he does. That's what that's what that's what that's we get full parrot. Perfect. We're gonna defog again. That's basically the play. Uh, he stayed in. To Dragon Tail, most likely. We go into back into Ligma, that would be perfect, but we go into. I don't want to get this paralyzed. Drudagon's annoying for this team now that I think about it. We have to damage it. We can Drudagon and Croagonal. Kill him only and pray that. Per okay, what the hell did he do that for? I don't want to take a Focus Blast. I really don't. But I don't really have a choice. If I wasn't burned or parried, it would be an easier play to make. He does go for Focus Blast. I don't know if he specs and all. I imagine he is. Just based on this man's team. We are getting better and better players as we go up on the ladder. Decidueye is coming in. And that's gonna get poison. Let's go, boy. Let's get it. Let's get it. You know? He might be choice ban U turn, so this is actually a terrible play. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. And then I'm not gonna go into Ligma either because he has. What's. 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 Yeah, he's gonna go for Z. I actually could've, could've went to Ligma, actually. That's not gonna kill us though. It's not gonna kill us though. Do 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 do. And we should have a strength sap against. Delmize is a terrible play because that opens up the door for Ligma to come in and diagnose him with Ligma. If he goes in the Delphox, I'm gonna U-turn on the Drodagon and then go back in the bottle and strength sap my elf back. He goes in Delphox, so I'm gonna do exactly what I said I was gonna do. Diagnose him with Ligma. He even doubles into Drodagon here, which would be a pretty decent play. If he goes for Fire Blast, slow U-turn is always the play. If you have slow U-turn and it, it's not a terrible play, go for it. He goes into the Drodagon, so we're probably taking Rough Skin and Helmet. He is Helmet. He is he is Helmet. Yep. So he's basically our set. He's basically the same set. As us. I don't know if he actually has a. I don't know if he actually has Earthquake, but it'd be in his best interest for him to. A Strength Sap is a contact. No, it would say contact here. It's not a contact move. That's retarded. No, that's not retarded. That kind of I can see that. We're actually gonna put him to sleep because that means that the strength sap on this turn is actually free. In fact, I'm gonna wear him down with sludge bomb before I click strength sap because it's actually just a lot freer if I do it like that. Yeah. Now I'm gonna. No, I don't even need the strength sap because I'm getting my lefties. Plume eating good. No, this is actually black sludge, but Plume still eating pretty good goes for his rocks, and now I actually just killed his... This actually isn't as favorable as it seems. Just for the fact that his rocks are back up, so it's gonna make switching to Delphox a little harder for Ligma. But I'm gonna go into Vaporeon this time. He's not gonna see it. No. I don't know what set he is. If he's, like, choiced, he might be Scarfed. I'd imagine he's Scarfed. You never know, though. I don't think he's Specs because he only did, like, 20-something. It was probably in my best interest not to let Vileplume take that Sinister Arrow right now that I think about it. He goes back and beat aforementioned Delphox. Ligma is so much weakened. I'm gonna go into Vaporeon because it's a better play than Ligma. If he goes for Grass Knot, I'm gonna double that Drudagon. He can't do a thing about that. He goes for Fire Blast and it's like it doesn't. If he goes into Cryogonal. Okay, first of all, I gotta pray to the Lord. Okay. That he's, okay he goes into Cryo. Okay, so this is gonna be a Silvoli and a Defog. If he predicts this and doubles into 
either of his other Pokemon, that's gonna be the best plays ever made this time. He ha he doesn't do that, so provided we don't get bullshitted, these rocks should be gone. In theory, they're gone. They're not on the screen anymore. Not bad, not bad. Wild Plume's at hella health because of how immaculately I played around. That, uh... Trotagon? Goes for high jump kick and does over half. Just over half. Just over half. I don't know if he wants if, how much he's fixing the high jump kick again and take more damage. But he is. He doesn't give a fuck. I don't know if he's scarfed or not. He probably isn't scarfed because he did 51. We're gonna go into the Pluminator regardless, and this is basically a free sludge bomb. Like, Prognal's gonna take it, but not well. If he misses, then Strength Sap might have been a better play. Strength Sap was Strength Sap was actually a 10 times better of a play. It's 420. Cryo, but I have lol too every time. He doesn't have. He's running out of switches to this. And we're gonna parting. We're gonna hit a paralyzed part. We're gonna try the parting shot. He's gonna forfeit, so we're. Dude, the forfeit master. This is probably the last game. Forfeit or not, this is gonna be the last game I think. Cause we've climbed decently on this ladder. I can't go back and check cause I'm on the PS client. For those of you who don't know, because I have so many alts, what I usually do, and like different rooms and so shit, what I usually do, I usually like if I'm doing regular showdown activity, I'm on the Marcus the Boss alt nine times out of ten. That's where that replay came from. I wasn't really fixing to record it live. But if I'm going to record a live, I'm on the PS client instead of the browser site. I have a different alt. And, dude, this team is actually enjoyable. I might just have a series with this team. But either way, if I'm on this, if I'm on the PS client, I have a different alt. I changed the background. We gotta cream the rabbit on this one. And I don't know if you'll see the cursor or not. But if you'll see the cursor, it'll speak for itself. This is taking a while, but like I said, I can't pause it, so I might as well entertain y'all. The Ligma Balls video hit 300. Last time I checked, it was like 340. So, okay, we got our game. We got... I can't read this nigga's name at all. I'm not even gonna front like I can. And we've let it every time, and it actually lead decently here, because if he goes right on, we're gonna get that attack drop with Intimidate. You already know we're leading. Diagnose this nigga with Ligma. I have no reason to talk about what I was talking about with the Ligma video, but I might as well because he's taking pretty long to pick a move. The Ligma video I dropped hit. That's why I'm saying 350 last time I checked. At this moment, it's sitting at 355. Doubt it'll be there when I check again, but okay, if he goes into Rhydon, we're knocking it off. If he goes into Incineroar, we're knocking it off. He might be fat Incineroar like us. He's AV, so he's not fat Incineroar. Fat Incineroar is this. It has like the 50, the half berries, Biggie Berry, yeah, Papa Berry, you name it. Uh, so we're gonna actually do that to him. And he shouldn't U turn because he's gonna take more ups. Oh shit, my fucking stupid ass. I always forget about Zatu. I always forget about Zatu. I don't know why. It's just like a thing. It's a bad habit of mine to just forget to acknowledge Zatu's existence. He's probably his rocker here. Yeah, we're just gonna, yeah. Is it still shuffle if you get if you get killed by helmet? No. But that actually means we just go into Lul 2 and defog for basically free. So he did an amazing job. No, he didn't even do that good of a job with the rocks. I'm just I just played horribly. So I can't really give him too much credit. Did he, did he get a slow U-turn here? No, he roosted. What the hell? He's slower than us, so that makes me want to flash cannon. 33. No defense drop, which is crazy, honestly. But like, what the hell? He goes in the Ferris Seed, we're popping a flamethrower on him, and then defogging whatever hazard he sets up. He probably has Spikes, Ferris Seed, and Rogs right on, or some offensive variant of right on, and... Stealth Rock Ferris Seed, of course. We're gonna do this, and he's probably gonna U-turn. He goes for knockoff, so Vaporeon's leftovers are gone. I'm gonna... You always click Wish. I don't know if you always click Wish, but I'm gonna click Wish. I'm gonna click Wish and probably go in a... If we weaken this nigga, which is gonna be difficult, he's not gonna scald, so we might as well go into Ligma and diagnose him with Ligma. I don't know what the hell the Slowking's gonna be, because that way he might be AV on that too. Thank you for Dragon Tailing. 
So I diagnose you with Ligma. Go ahead and get knocked off, buddy. He goes into his own center. We're not wanting to take it. I don't blame him. I wouldn't want to take it either. I don't know if I'm faster than him or not. Because I have Fire Blast, which ultimately means I have a lower defense nature. He U-turns. Great play, great play. I'm probably going to wish. Never mind, he goes into Beagle. I guess Sil Valley? I don't fucking know. He's Bug Buzz, so he. I don't know if he's choice or not. I don't know if Beakable counts. It doesn't look to Specs. But I imagine Specs and Beakable is a little stronger than that. We're gonna party shot versus every time. Yeah, he's gonna U turn again, and we're gonna. Nope, he didn't U turn again. Wish. Pop a wish in the air, hopefully get it to Vaporeon. If he U-turns like that, I don't know if his Vikable is what it is. Was he gonna go Vikable again? We might as well protect and pray to the Lord he's not, like, anything set up. He Volt Switched. Perfect. Our Electric Wizard is Drud, so this is actually a very, very unfortunate matchup. I don't think he Specs, because that wouldn't do 26. There's no way he Specs. And this is going to basically uh, repeat itself for a couple turns. Until that turn where I just stay in on the vehicle and say, fuck it. So he's probably gonna... See, what I need to do is set up a situation where I can set up a wish for my... I, he's not Specs. He might be Z, though. So I'm gonna throw up a... Okay, he's fast. Er than us. So I kind of broke the chain, I think, by doing that. But I don't think it's gonna help me at all. I don't think it's gonna hurt me too much. Especially if he goes into Pharisee, which is the easiest protect of all time. I don't care if he sets a hassle because I'm going to go into Silvalli. Actually, Silvalli might as well eat, so I might as well just try to get a wish for it, too. If he's smart, he goes into Incineroar here. If not, he sets another spike and just lets me. Yeah. He goes for Leech Seed, so he did play it above averagely, but I mean, what's, what's he going to do to solve this default? Go into Incineroar again? Ride on, maybe? He stayed in! What if I flamethrowered, bruh? He set up another spike of the audacity. So he should flamethrower. No, what? Okay, and he got O code. I could have won the Ligma on that. This nigga has Ligma. He has Ligma. This man has Ligma. So this live will be something along the lines of forfeiting and Ligma because that's basically what this has been about. He looks to be offensive, but all Rylons are basically all basically all Rylons are offensive. We're gonna sludge bomb the quad resist because he's not staying in. And Sinor is not gonna die to this, I don't think. Poison? Too much to ask? Way too much. So he's probably fire blast. He might try to get cheeky and knock off again. I just don't want a okay, U-turn. Good play, good play, good play. Gotta put respect, gotta put respect. So I think the madness stops if I just let Vaporeon draw bars, but I can't get the rocks. Incineroar is so weak, though. We're gonna protect Scout, I guess. He goes for Thunderbolt. Because he has Ligma. No, I don't think he's choice, though, so this is probably not my best. We're just gonna go into lull, too. I want a Defog, and I want a Flamethrower. I'm gonna Flamethrower. He's, he's, is he Scarf? What the hell? Why is this Vikavolt so goddamn fast? We burned it though, so that's nice. It'd be nice for a suicide defog on the dam. He paired us! Perfect! I was gonna strength tap, now I don't even know if I'm gonna get to strength tap. He paired us. Always run that motherfucking risk. And he goes back into the incinerator with this conceited ass bastard. At least I get all my health back. Give it all back, bitch. If you're gonna do that, then get subjected to that, motherfucker. Really? Come on now, that's that's a cheap shot. That's a cheap shot if I've ever seen one. Gonna knock off, it's not gonna knock anything off. So now we're playing. Uh... So hit him with this in power fighting. Ride on probably kills us. Slow King, Dragon Tail, us. He has a Vikable too. Scarf Vikable. Ligma. We're going to Ligma, that's our only play. Bug Buzz is probably a minute. If he Thunderbolts and Paros this too, I'm gonna be mad. He does bug bust, so at least he recognizes a good play. If I knock off a scarf, I'm going to throw something. 
Let me just tell you that right now. Probably just a pair of earphones so I don't wake anybody up. And my tone of voice, I'm surprised that- Oh, what the fuck was that? We're just out of fucking range of our damn berry, though, so I guess that was smart. He is Scarf. You can tell by the way this nigga played this. 203 times 1.5. What's Persian speed? Like, 3. Okay, but beef will slow her. Okay, now go Pluminator. Kill him with Sludge Ball. Please. I kill him if I lose, I'm not ending it. Sludge Bomb, okay, that's just 20. He's best slow. No, he's not. He's just. What the fuck? Okay, so as long as he's not Calm Mind, I think we got this. I repeat, he's Slam though. But he's not Calm Mind though. But we get full pair. Perfect. I need the damage on this. Are you joking? Are you joking? I should have Strength Zapped. But we don't get paired. That only did 31. Okay, that's damage though. Damage is damage. So just let him flame throw. Okay, Persian. This is where legends establish themselves on plays and turns like this. Flame? What do you flame throw again? That doesn't. What? The four buttons? This nigga burned us! You joking? That was the comeback? Are you kidding me? This nigga got 66 points? Hell no, we're not ending it on that. He burnt? Nah. You're joking! You're joking! Zeril, you are a bitch ass nigga! He got the burn! He got the burn! He got the. He got the fucking burn! He got the fucking burn! He got the fucking burn! He got the goddamn burn! He really burned me! He really burned me, dude! He burned me! He got the burn! He gets the. He really burned! I had that game in a fucking bag! Why did he flame thrower first of all? Secondly, he burned me! Why did he flame thrower? Why did he flame thrower? Nah, nah, what was that nigga's name? He missed Thunder. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. I, I feel sorry for this man. I don't know why I'm partying. Nah, I'm gonna find that nigga's name. What was his name? He burned me. Alright, now we're finding his name. We're confronting this nigga. So, like. I'm gonna stop this recording and find him actually. 